okay so we have completed our render uh, let me show you in the result of my render okay i uh, i have created three files and i have rendered them like here you can see uh, before render uh, i just adjusted some lighting so it will look great okay so uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, already done with the previous chapters so i will recommend you to uh, give some time on lighting so it will uh, give you good results okay now uh, what i will do i will simply uh, convert these image sequence into a video and then after that i will simply uh, use simple steps to edit this one in capcut okay so first of all let's convert uh, these all into video sequence okay for that uh, simply uh, go to the blender and uh, here you can see you can select this option and go to the video sequencer okay uh, here you can see the plus option you can change it uh, it into like video editing so you can see uh, your result over here and you can uh, edit your layers over here what i can do i'm uh, i will simply uh, create uh, you know uh, we have three scenes so what i will do i will convert only one scene one first shot let me change the some uh, some settings over here uh, this is the 60 and the resolution will be like 1082 by 1920 let me zoom it out a little bit like this also uh, save the location where you want to save it okay i'm going to create a new folder over here name this one final render and accept and here you have to change this one into ff mpeg video and in coding you have to change this one into mpeg4 okay one more thing in the medium quality you can make it uh, uh, lossless for the good quality okay this is the first thing you need to do before start the render and uh, after that what will you do uh, here is the add button you can click on this one and add an image sequence you go to your image sequence we have three image one uh, sequence two sequence and three sequence okay one by one select this one and select the first and go to the bottom and add the second one and make sure you use it the original size okay then add a star so yeah uh, we have the stripe over here now we just have to adjust our frames how many frames we have to render okay like um, the these were like 280 okay this is okay now uh, we have a few options over here if you want to use uh, you can uh, what you can do you can simply select this one and uh, like here go to the modifier and you can also add some modifiers over here like brightness and contrast if you want to increase the brightness or decrease or increase the contrast to get some uh, you have some control over here also okay for now but i don't need these things i i, uh, I would like the simple what i will do i i have already set the settings i will just simply press the uh, render animation and wait okay it will take some time and then you uh, are good to go okay now i will just uh, delete this one and repeat the same steps for the stripe 2 okay so uh, we have completed the render and uh, now i can simply close this one and uh, let me check the uh, render uh, final render okay here uh, we have three shots i can change the name like this one our first shot and this one was our second shot and this one was our third shot okay 
now what i can what i have to do i have to just simply uh, go to use any web video editing tool if you can use premiere pro it is a good point for you or if you don't know how to use this one you can simply follow this tutorial and i'm using the cap cut no uh, any difficult thing ahead just simple i will join them and add a voice over add some simple transitions like this okay one more thing uh, before go forward okay i have already uh, created the uh, downloaded the zag d original video uh, the reference video and i extracted the text from that video okay this is the original text i will use this one and for the editing purpose i'm using the uh, software cap cut let me open the cap cut for you this one okay create a new project this is our interface what i can do i can simply first of all uh, convert my text into voice for that i will select this text option over here and this plus option what i will do i will simply uh, copy my original text and paste it over here okay okay one more thing, uh, there is a limit of 500 characters. So what I will do, I will simply select this one. Uh, and after that, I will select this. So I will uh, divide this in two, uh, two pieces, okay? Copy this one by control C and paste it over here. Like this, okay? Our text is already here. Now what we have to do, uh, simply select the text and uh, go to this option, text to speech okay there are uh, you have uh, many options whatever you want to use for now i have selected this one now wacky i'm using this sound what i will do i will select this one and uh, press generate speech okay it will take some time and uh, you will get the speech of your text okay here it, it is done now what i can do i can simply uh, delete this one and add a new text and pushes the tish and what i can do i can simply uh, remove this one and select the remaining text paste it over here and go to text to speech select this one once it reaches your vital organs and the bullet rip it. okay and lead this one okay now uh you have the speech now just i have to import my video and just uh, combine them over here okay for that what i will do i will go to this media section import and uh, go to this sec voice uh final render here all the three videos and open them okay this is my first video this is the second one and this is the third one now what i have to do i have to just simply uh, add some i will simply add some transition some filters and i will also do some color grading over here to match the uh, to match my video with the voice okay this is not a super, uh, super science you can uh, you all can do it super easily this simple basic steps okay let's start Okay, uh, so for now I have done a uh, simple editing and uh, I have all uh, used the voice effect from original Zack D video. Also, uh, I use the original Zack D video for my reference to create uh, a good edit. Okay, you can see the 
uh, voice effects like when the bone is breaking and or the bullet is passing through the skin all these voice uh, sound effects are from the original video so maybe this is done and uh, i don't need to do anything more uh, if you are using after effects or premiere pro you have a lot of option there you can uh, simply improve your animation but for now it is ready now uh, what i will do i will simply uh, export it and uh, upload it on my youtube video if you want to see the overall result how it looks at the end uh, you can check the link in the description okay uh, and uh, if you want uh, to know how you can use this uh, software CapCut for free uh, let me know in the comment i will create a separate tutorial for that okay and uh, thank you very much hope you enjoy it